everybody, Tony Choi here on Latino Live TV. Check this out, everybody. Today is the debut of Spotlight. El comienzo de este nuevo programa todos los días, todos los miércoles a las 7 de la noche. Every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. We are live, ladies and gentlemen. We are live. We got a bunch of guests today. We got amazing, amazing music. We got amazing, amazing artists. People, this is going to be the hottest show, okay? Make sure that you tune in every Wednesday at 7 p.m., okay? We got DJ Rue in the house right now. Slam it up. Let's go, baby. Come on. Come on. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, today is a special day. Es un día tan especial para mí, especialmente, especially for me here, Tony Choi, here on this beautiful platform that God has bestowed for us. Remember, guys, this is community-based, okay? Esto es todo para comunidad, okay? Where we expose and we just give an amazing, amazing platform for all the local talent that we have in this magic city called Miami, the 305, okay? So I got a message for you guys. I know that we're going through some trial times right now, you know, and we're going to keep it positive, but I got a little message for you and I got a little bit of an encouragement as we go, you know? Positive mental attitude, okay, leads to freedom from fears and worries. Okay? And that will give you sound health. Okay? So it's a trilogy, okay? A trifecta. Keep a positive mental attitude that will give you freedom from fears and worries, and that will give you sound health. Does that sound good? I think it does. Okay? So check this out. We have an amazing, amazing artist coming, and we're blessed to have him here today. Okay? Not only is he an artist, ladies and gentlemen, he's an amazing friend. Somebody that God put us together for big things, big, big, big things, you know. So right now, quiero darle la, bien, la bienvenida a un gran amigo y un gran artista pintor de esta ciudad de Miami. Let's hear it for Rigo in the house. Let's bring in Rigo right now. Come on. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. So my brother, what's up? Thank you. Thank yeah, you for having me. Yeah, yeah. Because I know we're not supposed to hug and stuff like that, but hey, come on. It's Too late uh, for that. Yeah, exactly. It's and it's special, you know. Rigo, so first of all, um, welcome, bienvenido al show. Gracias. Okay. Gracias. Esta, este es el debut, el lanzamiento. So. I don't even know that. Yeah, yeah. Es el lanzamiento. Out. Yeah, we're we're babies. <laughs> we're babies. We're we're Beautiful. we're brand new. Esto Thank es eh, totalmente. And and like I've said, ladies and gentlemen, this show is organic. Okay, this is not scripted or anything of that. It's not fictitious. What you see is what you get. It's awesome, okay? So, Rigo, let's talk about, vamos a hablar de tu show en el Hotel Confidant, okay? That, yeah, that's coming, I mean, hopefully uh, it's coming on the, on the summer. They have, a, like you said, like a positive attitude. Um, and yeah, en el verano, por okay. dos meses seguido, okay. vamos a tener ese show, and uh, it's gonna be called um, Etapas. Uh, which is like faces. Awesome. You awesome. know, kind of like uh, going back on like a few years that I've, I've been painting. So I just want to like um, bring my last, I don't know, 10, 15 years of career. Awesome. But but let's talk about, let, give 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 uh, the Latino Live and the Spotlight audience un poquito de la demográfica y plataforma de tu arte. Porque es, es algo extremadamente interesante. Porque yeah. arte tiene muchas, muchas faces, muchas caras, ¿no? Yeah. Pero yo quiero que tú, give a definite uh, description, una descripción exactamente, your style of art, tu estilo de arte. I always did art. First of all, for myself, like to kind of like uh, to get out of my my mind, right. you know, something that I want to say that 
I want to express, so I did it through, uh, through, through I, I found the outlet, Absolutely. painting. I tried many other outlets, like music, I tried, like, I used to swim uh, as, a, as a kid until like I was 14. Natación, natación. natación. Exactly. And I did it professionally. Uh, um, art, like painting, was my, my main outlet, you know? And I, I, I always thinking about art as something global. Like, we live in a big house, and uh, this is what, happened, what we're going through right now. is a perfect example that we should see everything as uh, we live in a, in a big house, in a big community, not sure. just, oh, I live in, let's say, for example, Kirk Gables or Kendall. We, it's bigger than that. That's right. It's way bigger now, you know? Like, it's a community. It's so a community. My yeah. art, I always, like, consider I did it more, like, for a global, like, even, like, Something that I, when I'm not here anymore, it, it, it still is around. A legacy. A legacy. A legacy. It still exactly. is around. A legacy. You know? Absolutely, man. And that uh, you said a mouthful. Y aquí podemos hablar en español también. So that well. it's, it's, a, it's a you know bilingual type of multi language, multicultural. Like I've always said, we are delivered by culture. Yeah. Es, es, somos entregados por cultura. No. What a blessing is no. that, que vivimos en un mundo de tantas, tantos talentos, tanta demográfica, tantas plataformas, que, you know, the sky's not even the limit, because there's, you know, there's yeah. an infinite, infinite out there, you know what I'm saying? So, um, um, the pretty much, uh, um, en, en, en basado en, en lo que estás hablando, yo, porque yo era pintor antes que fui músico, so ese fue mi primer amor. Fue la pintura, uh, oil, pastel, um, paper mache, tint, uh, uh, stain. We talk, we talk about yeah, it. we talked about that yeah. briefly. So, eso fue mi primer amor, y después eh, I traded my brushes, eh, entregué mis brochas y todo por un bajo, por una guitarra. Mi papá es músico también, y dijo, wow, tú quieres... Bueno, eso, that's another story, we're here for you. But, um, mm -hmm. háblanos sobre la, la, tus redes sociales, donde la gente te puede encontrar, where people can find you. They can find me in Instagram, it's uh, Regal Leon Art. The same thing with Twitter and everything else, the website is regalleon.com, simple. Yes, and that's it, I mean... Y donde te pueden contratar, porque tú estás all over Wynwood. Like, but, but, I mean, you're in a lot of places, man. Not not just uh, uh, in, a, in a gallery, but you're exposed outside any given walls, you well, know, any I'm, building. I'm pretty much, like I said, like, uh, like in global. Like, I yeah. want to I wanna be like, like, let's say, like, I have mirrors in Mexico and other countries where we love to, like, like, spread the love, you know, like, even, I don't see, like, any frontiers or like that's right there are none there are none, there are none. no For limitations art, there's no limitations no limitations so i can be here talking to you right now i can be painting tomorrow in another you know in place another. that's right uh we just need to like you said like set our mind uh, of fear absolutely and be a solution. yeah freedom, freedom from fears and worries you know freedom from fears and worries and i tell people you know people say you know success this you're not successful and i say people you know the meaning of success is progressively moving towards a worthy ideal if you are moving towards your dream you're already successful so ladies and gentlemen at regal leon art okay that's all his social platform yes. and www.regoleon.com everybody listen this Sense. check check this guy out <laughs> don't don't miss out because this is our future okay rigo thank leon thank you so much brother. thank you for having me okay god bless you yeah, man god bless you, i'm gonna see you soon okay see you soon. all right all right so everybody check this out rigo leon stay tuned we'll be right back don't change that channel well your digital channel whatever listen Donde estén en sintonía, wherever you are, your phone, your car, your house. Listen, this is the time. Latino Life TV, Tony Choi, Spotlight, 7 p.m. Wednesday night. We'll be right back! Oh, oh.
All right, everybody, we are back. We are back. We are back. We are back. Listen, Wednesday night, this is the night. This is the night to tune in. 7 p.m. Don't miss out. Listen, I am blessed right now to be with the queen, okay? Shayla King. I have Shayla King in the house. Hola, ¿cómo estás, Tony? Mucho gusto. Saludito a toda la gente que está en audiencia ¿no? del show. Y congratulations ¿no? on the new show. I know it's going to be a success. So I wish you all the best. And... Thank you so Hi, much. Thank you so much. Gracias por estar aquí. Eh, Sheila, yo sé que nosotros hemos estado eh, ya conectados eh, para hacer muchos proyectos. Eh, obviamente, eh, hubo un disco, there was a record that you did before this that I couldn't cut, quite jump in because, you know, one thing led to another, una cosa en la otra. Eh, pero yo estoy hablando con un artista que ha estado nominado para los Latin Grammys, you know. Yo creo que eso es un gran reto que tú has, uh, it's an accomplishment, man. You know, me being a two-time Grammy-nominated artist, I know what that feels to get that honor, you know, and, uh, you know, and that title, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and you've been there. So tell us about that. Well, I mean, what can I say? It's, it's an honor, you know, it's a dream. It's something that I dreamed about since I was a kid. Never thought I would accomplish it with my first album, the first album that I wrote. What album is that? Supernova. Supernova. Yeah. Supernova. Um, so it was a surprise. You know, when I wrote that album, I knew I had something special. I just felt it in my heart, you know. But I think that every artist always, you know, if it's connected to their art, they always feel like they have something special. But I swear to you, I felt like there was something special about the album and about what I was able to create uh, as an independent artist, which is very, very difficult, no, uh, in this industry That's and right. as a singer-songwriter and be able to follow through with my vision because that album was exactly what I had envisioned and fight so much in this industry for a while because people, especially with the big companies, they wouldn't understand what my vision was. They were always like, you have to stick to one genre. That's you right. have to do one thing or you have to be like this artist or that artist. And I didn't want to be like anybody else. I just wanted to be myself. That's right. And since I was a child, I always had this thing about writing songs. You know, it's just it's the, the thing that really caught my attention. I had no interest in doing cover songs or um, if I wanted to join a band and do cover music, I would have done it a long time ago because I, you know, that's something that was offered to me many times, but I always had that interest of working on original music, making right. original music. So it, it's an honor. It's something that I'm always going to have close to my heart. Um, and there's never guarantee, you know, but every time I work on an album, I try to make sure that I feel that it shows the evolution, that it that's shows... That's right, um, that's right. And, and, and you said a mouthful, you know, vision. You talked about vision. You talked about being, you know, believing in yourself. Mm -hmm. Listen, if nobody's gonna... If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and if you have a driven vision of who you want to be, I always say, you know, you got to set trends, not follow them. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I, I, I salute you for that. Te, te, te. Me quito el sombrero. Bueno, no tengo sombrero ahora, pero bueno. I take off my hat to you. Uh, let's talk about tu nueva producción, Transcendencia. Háblame de esa producción. Bueno, este, estamos trabajando el disco nuevo. Eh, saldrá para finales de abril, más tardar mayo. Estamos okay. tratando de, de... April, May. Yeah, okay. to make sure we meet the... 2020. 2020. Este año, so ya okay. dentro de poco. Es un álbum, nuevamente, estamos trabajando en la misma línea, Fusión Tropical. Eh, nuevamente, soy la compositora de todos los That's temas. Right. Eh, y estoy súper emocionada ¿no? por eh, los productores que están trabajando conmigo en este álbum. Háblame de eso, sí. háblame de eso. Bueno, estamos... <risa> Tony es uno de ellos. Woo! That's right. Llevamos tiempo hablando de esto, ¿no? Y, y, y cuando se hizo Supernova, eh, ambos tuvimos situaciones por las cuales no pudimos eh, trabajar, ¿no? Claro, nos, nos conocimos claro. ayer tarde en, en la producción y, claro. y no dio tiempo. Pero desde el 2018 estamos hablando de esto, ¿no? Y ya por fin estamos trabajando juntos en este, en este proyecto. Eh, tenemos una visión parecida de que queremos crear algo completamente 
diferente, ¿no? Claro. Que vaya en la onda de lo que es el álbum, pero a la misma vez que sea una música que nadie haya escuchado, que that's sea right, algo, right. algo único y distinto. Bueno, yo le voy a dar un twist diferente, yo acuérdate. Sé, Tú sabes oh. que I always come with something. I know, ah, I know. Ah, and that's you know? what I love about you as a producer. And, and, and that's how we click as artists, too. Um, also, um, the producers that worked with me on the previous record, um, Raz, uh, Mr. Bla, y um, tengo también a Fafi, puertorriqueño, que lo convencí de que se saliera del retiro para que awesome. estuviera en este álbum. And I was making such great music. I can't wait that's for right, people to listen right. to it. So check this out, everybody. Shayla King, Transcendencia, Tony Choi. I get to have the blessing to be on this record, which we're going to the Grammys, baby. And we're going to win this time, right? <laughs> we're going to win this time. What? What? All right. Hablame de tus redes sociales, okay? We are at Shayla King. All your social platforms, right? Shayla yeah. King. Exactly. That's how people can reach you. Yeah. Okay? Well, Shayla King Music. Shayla King Arroba Music. Shayla King Music. Okay, got you. Yeah. Shayla King okay. Music. Make sure that you check out this girl. She's super talented, Latina, Puerto Rico in the house. Yeah. Eh? A yeah, todos mi gente boricua ahí, ¿eh? Sí, ahí. Ok, perfecto. <laughs> Buenísimo. Entonces, nada, Sheila, gracias por venir. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, please come back. No, ok. For sure. We're coming back with the Grammys. Y a presentar el sencillo también. That's right. That's, right. Sure. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's a deal. Inicia. We'll shake Seguro on it. Sí. Ok. Seguro. We're shaking hands all over the place here. So, everybody, listen. Tony Choi, Sheila King, Spotlight, Latino Live. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. We got some more artists, some more talent coming over to you right now. So uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back. We're going to lead you off with DJ Rube back in the house. Let's do it. Come on, Rube. Come on. Yes. All right, everybody, we are back. We are back. Whoa! We got the champ in the house, baby. We got the champ in the house, Olivier Murad. All right, all right. We got the the Haitian. Super dancer, come on. This is the champ in the house. He brought his belt. Olivier, my God, thank you so much for being here, man. What a blessing to have you here. And, uh, you know, finally, um, um, we get to talk, uh, especially on the debut of the show, El Lanzamiento. I, I know you speak a little Spanish, so, you un poco, know. Un, un poquito, un poquito. Yeah. You know, I'll throw some... Uh, some French, you know, your ways, you know, so, uh, no, I'm kidding. Perfect. So, I'll, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. Bonsoir, ça va, you know? <laughs> ça va bien. Comment allez-vous? Yeah, Comment allez-vous? Yeah, you see, we, we're, we're multicultural here, people. It's all about the practice. That's right, that's right. So, um, thank you so much for, ha uh, thank you so much for coming. And, uh, basically, um, uh, I know that we had a fight that we were, uh, Well, I, I actually was going to be a part of the fight. I was going to be there in prayer. I was going to come out as, with your entourage. Exactly. Like you were going to be part of the entourage, the right. entire show. I was super, I was so excited about that, man. No I was like, and it was going to be at the Heart Rock Live. I was like, what? What a platform, man. What an opportunity. Talk to us about that. I know that it was canceled. It was supposed to be yesterday, right? And it was canceled, but it's been postponed. It wasn't canceled, sorry. It's been postponed. That's right. Okay? So we're going on May 21st, okay? 2020, May 21st. The fight is going to happen, okay? Tell us about that fight. Yeah, so uh, not sure if I'm going to get the same opponent, but let's see. I'm willing to fight anyone. Uh, UFC, when are you going to give me my contract? How many people do I have to finish? So hopefully after this next fight, we're good to go. Dana White. 
They're calling you out. Come on, man. This is the champ. Oh, undefeated. Out, undefeated. Undefeated champ. Undefeated champ. I so, do not want to be here. That's right. That's right. So um, talk to us about, you know, your previous fights. You know, how, how did you get to be Olivier Murat, man? <laughs> Talk to me about that. Your your drive, your definition, your you know everything. You know, in a nutshell, of course. You know, you know. Um, just tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell the audience of Latino Live and Spotlight who who Olivia Murat is, please. Yeah, definitely. It's all about your belief system and how you truly believe in yourself at first, and then of course it comes down to to your core values, your family values. I came from a hardworking family where uh, they built everything from the ground up. So seeing their effort and what they put into our lives is truly inspirational. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, how privileged I came, f I came from. You know, uh, you got to start from from the bottom. You have to be thankful with what you with what you have and take advantage of it. You have to work hard and rigorous for it. The sport, I fell in love with the sport. I always felt like I had this warrior spirit. That's in right. Talk to us about that. Warrior the God, that's what this man calls himself, okay? Warrior the God, warrior of God. Mm -hmm. And to me, that is a, a, an amazing stamp, man. That, you know, it's not just a name, man, you know. It's, you know, you wear that on your sleeve, man. It, it's it, from the, from, you know, you're a true gentleman, you know. Uh, a, a father first, you know. I've seen you how you mm -hmm. are with your boy, yeah. you know. And uh, a great husband, you know, a family man. You know, uh, you're all about your business, you know, I see how you train, man, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, that means a lot to me. And, and, and to me, that's, you know, morals, values, you know, that is uh, something that, that we got to base ourselves upon, you know. And, uh, and, and a lot of people look up to you and are going to keep looking up to you, you know. And you got to, you know, but you're a human being, you know. You're, you, you know, make mistakes, you know, and, 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 and whatever you know, failures and, and, and trials and tribulations, you know, exactly, perfect, yeah, exactly. So, so nevertheless, um, talk to me about your gym, man, you know? So my gym, uh, we're still going, Freedom Fires MMA out in Kendall, definitely, definitely come out, uh, pretty much, we're some of the healthiest people, uh, we've gone through so much uh, rough endeavors that, that our immunity is to a whole nother level, uh, we rarely get sick, all of us are, are fine and we're going strong, and that's how we're gonna keep on doing it. Everyone fears us for a reason. That's why I can never find a fight. Unfortunately, you know, this fight got canceled, but hopefully it won't be difficult to find the next one. So definitely, definitely got to give out major respect to the team that built me, and that's Freedom Fighters MMA. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Hey, check this out. Um, oh, you mind if I open this yeah, coconut man, water? Go, yeah. go ahead. Open this coconut water. Definitely take a sip. You. you know, oh, this for you too. Oh, that's yeah, for me? Definitely. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. C, oh, hi, you're mineral. Okay, pure coconut water. I love yeah, it. I'm going to taste vitamin it right now. Water. Okay. You know, they just, uh, my producer just announced that we got a little bit of time, so take a oh, sip definitely. of this. Wow. Tasty. Yeah. Tastes definitely. like coconut. Keeps you going. <laughs> Only has All right. Ingredient. So check this out. Um, since we have a little bit of time, you know, um, I want, can you show us, like, you know, one just specific move <laughs> that you, you know, not to give too much away to your opponent, because I don't want him to, you know, check you out and stuff like that. I'm sure they watch films about you all the time oh, and yeah. things like that. Like football, you know. They, 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 but um I have to always always do, do you do you um and then and then we'll talk about this 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 beautiful thing right here. This thing but, right here? Yeah yeah this I thing, use it to hold up my pants. That, that's right, that's right. That's pretty that's pretty big belt. But um but um can just just where you're sitting right there, can you show a hand movement? You know, because I did C lap for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So I did the you know, yeah, type thing, you know what I'm saying? So at, the, at, at, at any given time, what is something that you recommend? Because you talked to me a, one time about people that can't fence for themselves. Mm -hmm. That's how pretty much you took the passion on, you know? Um, you know, and uh, I have this movement, it's called Nerd Up, you know, and it's an anti-bullying campaign, you know, and, uh, and uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of, and, and, and I say, it's smart to be smart and it's stupid to be stupid. So nerd up, you know what I'm saying? And pretty much, you know, uh, the nerds pretty much control the financial system today. You know what I'm saying? So uh, at any given time, um, can you show a hand movement or two hand movements that you kind of uh, uh, 
can you do it while you're sitting or you know here I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, take this for you for now. Like we're all champions. maybe 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 uh, yeah we're, champions we're all of, champions of you hear that that's amazing so a little something that I always like to do it's known as a breakthrough uh, so it's all about the setup from the jab so that lead hand you get them you know backing up you know you know like get them afraid to the point where they react or if you step in after that jab you step in with an elbow right to their nose. From there, you're inside, and then you can follow it up with another elbow, takedown, you name it. But the thing is, you have to be confident. You have to have that positive mindset. Like you mentioned earlier That's about right. the sound health, that is, that is the true key in anything you do in life. You have to be sound with yourself, because if not any, any type of passion you want to pursue, there's going to be trouble along the way. So keep your mind focused and keep that, that sound health in check. And then uh, from there, it's, it's all about the confidence that you have. That's because, right. Uh, being, being willing to enter something that, that scares you to death, you have to have a level of cons confidence that surpasses that fear. Correct. Correct. And, and you said a mouthful, you know, confidence. On anything you do in your life, confidence is key. You know, you go in it to win it, you know. I know it's a kind of like a corny, cliche type of thing, but, but it's, it's, you have to... Everything is mindset, you know. Set your mind for success, not failure. You know what I'm saying? So that's a given. So at any given time, uh, it looks good on you. Yeah, it does, right? Uh, I'm gonna start training with you, by the way. Mm -hmm. So I know that 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 that's in the that's yeah, in the works. That's in the works, you know. So talk to me about this belt, man. Ooh, this belt. How I earned this belt? It was a very rough situation. I was working for Red Bull. As, as an account sales manager, I had no time. I was going into work at five in the morning, uh, not getting home till about six, having to run errands and make it to training at nighttime. There's a lot of times that I missed training because I, I was stuck running errands. So two weeks before my, my title fight, I had to make a decision. Uh, do I really want this life badly? And I said yes. So I resigned from Red Bull. I had two weeks to, to prepare for this upcoming fight where I fought a guy who was three and one, and he wasn't giving it to me. But luckily in the second round, I ended up pulling off an armbar, and I won the belt. Second round. That's right. That's right. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, that's called determination. You know, determination is that, uh, you know, when you want something, it's at, at, the, at the end of the day, you know, truth be told is who wants it the most, right? Mm -hmm. Who wants it the most, you know? You know, two people might want it the same way. But at, it, at any given time, you know, it's all about conditioning and training, too. You know what I'm and saying? Who is prepared? Who is mostly prepared mm -hmm. for the situation? So, listen, um, talk to me about your social media. Um, where can they reach you? Where can they see you? May 21st, 2020, at Hard Rock Live, Olivia and Murad, pay-per-view, right? It, it will be pay-per-view. Okay, yeah. and we're going to try to bring you the fight right here. On spotlight, we're gonna try to do some type of transmit. I don't know. We'll work something out. Yeah, so yeah, um, when the time comes. Yeah, when the time ready. comes. So um, so at at Warrior De God, Warrior underscore De underscore God. Okay, definitely check me out. Uh, pretty much, I'm all about the community, especially the youth. It's all about your mindset and being willing to work for it. Okay, no matter no matter what the situation you're in, it's nothing but trials and tribulations that you need to overcome. Uh, I'm going to be here to support anyone that needs the help, whether whether mental or physical. Uh, just DM me at Warrior De God on Instagram. And then, yeah, I definitely want to come to your city and your town and uplift the people in any way that I can. That's right. That's right. So, Olivier Murad here on Latino Live TV, my show Spotlight. Remember, every Wednesday night, 7 p.m., we have something new and everything new. Okay? So, at any given time... Hey guys, let's hear it for Olivia Murad. We're gonna lead you on with DJ Rue in the house. Bring it! All right. Thank you so much. All right. Awesome, good, good interview. Uh -huh. You like it? Uh -huh. You like it? Uh -huh. You like it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.
through a mutual friend. Uh, so blessed to have you here, man. Fellow producer, amazing DJ, my type of music, you know? Mi tipo de música, house music, tech house, that whole tribal vibey. I did this for so many years with so many DJs. Uh, I actually started one of the first after hours here in the city at Club Space back in the day, yeah. you know? You probably were there. You know, but um, and um, you know, that's why we have the percussion over there set up because we're gonna close it up with some crazy, crazy tribal stuff, anyways. Rue, thank you so much for coming. Talk to me, what do you got new? I know you have some a new production, your first release. Yes, yes, talk to me about that. Yeah, it's uh, it's my first release and it's coming out on MVD Records uh, out of Boston. Uh, it's a bass house track called Heel Toe. Uh, Definitely gonna get you moving and dancing and shuffling and cutting shapes. That's right. All the above. That's right. That's yeah. awesome. So MVD Records, right? That's correct. Out of Boston, Massachusetts, yes. right? So this label, ind independent label, correct? Correct. All right. Perfect. Awesome. And uh, you know, any residencies? Where can people come and see you? Where can they come and you know hear these? You know, hear you on the one and twos. You know, and. Uh, well, it's unfortunate. Uh, this week it was Miami Music Week, but yeah. they canceled it because of the coronavirus. I yeah. uh, had a big show Thursday night at Barter Winwood, and then another after hours show at Night Owl Bar and Lounge, uh, all in Miami. Right. Um, and then a couple other rooftop parties, uh, but they all got canceled. Uh, as far as local residencies, right now I kind of stepped away from that, but in the past I had residency at Cash Only, uh, Stash. Uh, to name a couple of them. Okay, awesome. So, so, and uh, do you have like a YouTube channel, or do you have uh, you know anything that people can come and ch you know download your music? Uh, you know, I know you have a SoundCloud. Um, right. So if you if you uh, if you go to uh, at Rue Music OFC on any platform, it's all the same. Rue Music OFC R O O M U S I C O F C. Uh, on any platform, you can go to my SoundCloud. I've got hour and two hour, a bunch of different uh, mixes for you guys to listen to and jam out to. Um, and uh, again, the first track's coming out at the end of the month on the 27th. More to come later that, uh, this year in the spring. I've got a couple more releases coming out. Check this out. Do you have that track with you right now? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But play a little bit of that single. Just uh, just a little taste. Don't okay. give it away too much. Okay. Yeah, you know, because, sure. you know, I want you guys to check this out, man. This is why we're here. We're here for local talent. You know, this is not, this show is not about me. This show is about him. This show is about every, every guest that's been here today, you know, preserving the culture, preserving the movement, you know? This is why we've built this, you know? So we can go ahead and expose the beautiful talents, you know? The multicultural talents that we have, we have in this magic city. It is called Magic City, by the way. Miami is called Magic City. So in the 305, you know, DJ Rue, give me some, give me a little bit of that new single that, that's coming out. Check this out, guys. It's 
So while he sets this up, you know, I keep on saying it, guys. We're going to have a many, many guests. Uh, next week, I think we're going to have, um, you know, our cover. Yeah, we're ready to go. <laughs> talking about this is what I'm talking about the organic I'm a musician been doing music for 25 years as you can see all my instruments are here I'm a bass player man you know and uh, and we're Latinos you know what I'm saying by the way where are you from uh, I'm half American and half Persian oh wow yeah but, okay but from being down here in South Florida so long I picked up you know the Latin the Latino, flavor Latino and all that vibe. stuff you know I have two daughters both eight and nine years old Awesome. Uh, they're both uh, uh, half half uh, Cuban, half American, half Persian. Oh wow! So oh, wow. you know a lot of diversity there. That's right. That's yeah. right. But that's what it's all about. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That delivered by culture. Yeah. Yeah. Delivered by For culture. Sure. That's what For I always sure. say. We are delivered by culture. Anyways, so I hear the piano. I hear the the, the Latino. Ha ha ha! That whole vibe. You know, we did a whole record just the other day, and uh, I'm trying to bring that flavor back into house music, right. the organic instruments, right. live brass, you know, timbales, you know, um, live bass, you know, right. and interconnect, incorporate the organic live instruments into the house music, right. you know, because a lot of the EDM music has gotten so EDM. <laughs> yeah, well, thank God this was an EDM. Right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So, so uh, nevertheless, um, Rue, I know, I know, I know. A lot of DJs now don't want to put the DJ in front of the of the actual name. That's been going on for a long time. So, but you are a DJ, you are a producer. We got a new single coming out. Say that single again. Uh, Heel Toe coming out on the twenty seventh on NVD Records. You can get it at Beatport, Spotify, Apple Music, all your all your platforms. Awesome. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to lead us out with some house music. I'm going to get on the timbales. I'm going to join him right now. And here we go. One, two. Give it to me, baby. Let's go.
¿Dónde has estado? Te siento tan lejos ¿A dónde hemos llegado? No escucho tu risa Me quedo callado Siento que todo ya se fue Te pierdo despacio Gracias a mí, gracias. No, gracias a ti, bro, por estar aquí, eh, esta gran bendición. Alfonso, yo estoy tan bendecido de haberte conocido. I'm so blessed to have met you, man. You are the, the example, you know, el ejemplo de un gran artista, un artista de verdad, eh, una gran persona. Eh, you know, I, I really, I really, um, 
you know, I fell in love with your spirit, bro. Thank you. You know, I really did, man. I really, I, I am, you know. Mm -hmm. Estoy enamorado de tu espíritu, bro. De, de la persona que tú eres. Eh, la humildad, the humility, bro. The, the truthness about yeah. you, bro. You mm -hmm. know, you're not this... You know, fra la la, yeah. phony baloney type of guy. You know, it's yeah. uh, and and that smile. You always, you always greet me with a smile. You always leave me with a smile, bro. Yeah. You know, uh, when I, whenever I, cuando yo te pido algo, hey Alfonso, tu pay, tu, hey, hey, claro, a la orden, da, 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 da. Man, you know, that's 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 really rare. Well, not not in this show though. Everybody that we've had in this show is an amazing, loving human being people, uh, yeah. you know, I, and I vuelvo y repito, estoy bendecido de tener a todos los artistas que han estado en este, en este show hoy, en este debut, el lanzamiento hoy de este show, okay, de muchos shows que vienen, a lot of different shows are going to come, but um, háblame de ti, Alfonso, quién es Alfonso, eh, where have you been, where are you going, what are you doing now? <laughs> Bueno, primero gracias por las palabras que, que has dicho sobre mí y, y para mí también es, es bendecido tenerte a ti también como, como, como una persona que, que me ha ayudado y que me está ayudando en mi carrera musical, como sabes y los que no saben, eh, yo soy de Caracas, Venezuela, de padre venezolano y madre mexicana y bueno, ya tengo un tiempo en, en la industria musical desde el 2015 que hice el primer lanzamiento de mi disco de un sencillo bastante romántico, una propuesta que habla del pop musical, pero con pinceladas de música country, porque yo viví en Estados Unidos cinco años cuando fui a la universidad. A estudiar diseño gráfico, que nunca estudié diseño gráfico, porque me la pasé tocando. Pero eh, aprendí a tocar música country porque tenía una banda de música country y giré por todos Estados Unidos tocando música country. De hecho, toqué con personas como Zach Brown Band awesome. y, y varios artistas, eh, fiestas de NASCAR y muchísimas cosas. Entonces cuando regreso a Venezuela, después de estudiar en la universidad, es cuando yo decido pues emprender mi propia música, porque ya tenía mucho tiempo tocando en bares, tocaba que si cinco veces por semana en bares, y regreso para Venezuela, grabo mi primer sencillo, grabo, me, voy, me voy y me mudo para México para hacer eh, un, un CD completo, y empiezo la promoción, todo de verdad que ha marchado súper chévere, y ahora estoy aquí en Estados Unidos pues haciendo el lanzamiento, lo que va a ser mi cuarto sencillo musical. Claro. Y, 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 y algo bien interesante de Alfonso es que yo lo he visto en vivo. And, uh, and this guy, I call him the Ed Sheeran of the Latin market, you know, because he has the foot pedals and, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a gearhead, you know, I love yeah. gear and I love, I go to the NAMM show and this and that, you know, and, uh, and you know, uh, setting the pedals and uh, you know the replay of the guitar and then he does another part and then he's singing and then the harmony one guy coming at <laughs> yeah. you with all these different things you know which is uh it's pretty it's it's pretty magical man it's pretty magical to see him perform uh, organically by himself um you know obviously um el está él está llegando a una como digo uh, set trends Uh, not follow them. Él está tratando de hacer en, en este momento y lo vas a lograr. Lo Amén. vas a lograr. Amén. Estás haciendo algo diferente hacia la demográfica de la música latina. Yeah. Okay? Es agregarle la esencia de country, mm -hmm. country pop, country Rascal pop. Flats, yeah. Zach Brown, como tú dijiste. Eh, give it that, that different twist. Pushing the envelope all mm -hmm. the time, you know? Yeah. So, um, you know, yo sé que tú tienes otro sencillo uh -huh. que a mí me encanta. I love that single, bro. Uh, when, when I first heard the single, I was like, yo, that's a hit. That's a hit, you know? Y no nos conocíamos. No, personalmente. no nos conocíamos. A mí, a, a mí personalmente, me enseñaron, a, a, íbamos hacia un evento donde él iba a tocar. Oh, este es el muchacho que vas a escuchar. Da, da, da. I say, man, you know, there's something very special in that song. And, uh, you know, obviously, the music business is the music business. Like I tell people, in any sort of business, You got to separate emotion mm -hmm. from business. The moment that emotion starts walking towards this business person, kick him the hell out. Say, it's not your time. Yeah. Emotion is in the creative process, in the studio, painting for Regal, wherever you are. But where, when you're wearing that business, when you're closing those deals, you got to be all business. So 
sing to me a little bit of that uh, single that I love. Ese sencillo que, que yo. Yo no sé qué está pasando o qué me hiciste, pero algo me está cambiando. Ya no estoy triste. No sé si fueron los besos de aquella noche. Alucino todas las noches. Yo no sé cuánto tiempo quiero tenerte. Esto es más que un simple encuentro. Debes creerme. No sé si era el plan perfecto. That's a hit, bro. Yeah. That's a hit. That's a hit, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. And uh, I'm going to do everything in my power, bro, for that song to Thank you. get heard by the masses because it really, really, really is a beautiful song. Gracias. You know, a, a great composition, you know, great lyric, you know, acoustically like that. Listen, I always say if you can play a song acoustically and reach somebody and touch somebody, that's the magic. Okay, Alfonso in the house, ladies and gentlemen, we are Latino Live. We are Spotlight Wednesday night, 7 p.m. We are going to close this show with DJ Rue in the house. We're going to bring it in. Let's hear it. Come on, Rue. Come on. Oh. Let's bring it.
Latino. 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 Latino.